All right, this morning we're taking a look at a local artist who designed surfboard based on Hawaiian culture. Yeah, and to tell us more about his vision and future projects, Dallas Ontiveros joins us live from the Surfboard Factory in Kapolei. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, guys. That's right. We're here at Surfboard Factory Hawaii looking at these beautiful designs right here. Take a look at this surfboard right here. These designs were created by a local artist who lives here in the state of Hawaii by the name of Eduardo Bolioli. He's really taken all the life experiences he, lives, he has lived through and also the Hawaiian culture to create these one-of-a-kind designs and to really make his statement here in the world by using these surfboards. Good morning, Eduardo. Good Thanks morning. so much for having us still. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a pleasure to be here. Absolutely. So you showed us this uh, surfboard in the last take of take two, and we already kind of started working on this sea turtle right here, but I know that you have a pretty busy 2020. I mean, you've worked with top designers from around the world, whether it was Billabong, Volcom, I think I read Guess, and you also came back from Milan Fashion Week recently. Yeah. How, 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 how is 2020 looking for you? Seriously. Uh, it's looking with, like, I'm going to have a lot of jet lag. You know? No, I know, right? A lot of flying. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we're, we're mostly focusing on Japan for, cool. for next year. Uh, nice. I'll probably start doing the some of the um, the fairs in Japan, um, yeah. art shows there, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I really want to do a surfboard show because in there um, because I, I it's like the first year that uh, surfing is going to be admitted in the Olympics. I know, and I would love to. I'm I'm looking for a place now to do a show that would be my tribute to to surfing and uh, and sort of like. Uh, you know, a celebration of the yeah. Olympics. And we even have uh, some representatives, people who live here in the state of Hawaii, who will be going out there representing the state of Hawaii and also Team USA. But something that you mentioned during commercial break was this clothing brand that you're working on called CY. And it has to do with some plastic in our ocean. Can you tell us more about that? Well, unfortunately, the ocean is full of plastic right now. Yeah. And, uh, and we've been working with many um, you know, organizations like Sustainable Coastlines Hawaii. Mm -hmm. You know, it's uh, I, I try to collaborate with them a lot, and um, it's uh, it's something had to be done. So um, I started uh, this little company uh, called CY, and everything's on with, made with recycled bottles that collected from the ocean. Nice. Some fabrics are 100 percent, and uh, some others like the ones used for the bikinis. Are eighty percent recycled and uh, and twenty percent, you know, new. Wow. Um, but everything is focused on uh, on the name and um, and the environment. Yeah. So the the name is CY, and it's like CY. We need to stop consuming so much plastic. Yeah. I mean, Hawaii passed the, the law that's unreal. You know, yeah. It's like right now, mm -hmm. and I think. Uh, it's uh, it's gonna be do us a lot of good. Mm -hmm. It might be hard to adjust at first, uh, but uh, I think in the long run it's gonna be great for us. And uh, the, the whole world needs to do things. Yeah. I, I'm really excited. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like a very 2020 type of thing. And you said that it, it brings a lot of focus to the issue, but this takes a lot of focus right here. I mean, these lines, it's so detailed. How long does a surfboard take for you to complete? How long does one surfboard take? Uh, several weeks. Several uh, weeks. Uh, yeah, They're all personalized, you know? Yeah, because it it starts with uh, with a, with a blank and uh, the shape blank, and we, we we keep on going from that. But then there's the glassing, the the polishing. Uh, so it's, it's not just me; it's a, a whole team that works on building these boards. Nice. Well, I'm excited to see what 2020 has for you. You already gave us a sneak preview. And yes, for those people who are watching, those surfers who are watching, these surfboards are all surfable once they're completely done. Right. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> so you can either have them hanging in your living room or you could just take them out to the waters whenever you have a chance. But thank you so much, Eduardo, for just letting us uh, share your letting sharing your story with us and also uh, giving us some insight to your work. We appreciate it. Well, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> and of course, if you guys want to see more details about Eduardo Bolioli or the surfboards he creates, you can check our website later today at khon2.com. Reporting for the Surfboard Factory, Hawaii, Dallas Navarro, singing back to you, Ross and Kelly. <laughs> studio.
And you got to think, who's on vacation Is she today? On vacation still? No. But we're I'm back, glad baby. to have Kelly back. Thank you. And Christine off in Napa, so living her best some life. Wine, sipping it. Yes, so <laughs> fun. All right, what coming up next? We'll be breaking down the stories that you need to know about today.